But I'm afraid of spiders, but I do have this much less rational fear. It only happens late at night when I'm driving by myself. The thought will pop into my head that maybe someone else is in the car with me. So I just sort of feel around back there. You ever do that? I don't know what that is. I guess I want to touch an intruder before making eye contact. Outside of Iowa City recently, driving back to a hotel from a comedy club, and the thought happened. And here's the thing, it's not even so much that I'm afraid of getting carjacked, because it's only like triggered after I've been singing along with a song. <laughs> it's more just I'm like embarrassed he didn't like it. So I swipe back there, it comes out clean, but I still felt paranoid. So I moved on to the rarer phase two of my operation, which is to say as confidently as I can, I know you're back there. <laughs> Which is crazy, because there is no next part of that plan. I don't know what I would do if he responded. How do I think he's gonna act? Like, oh, you got me. Let's put this sword back in its sheath. Since you ruined the surprise. So nothing happened, but I still, I never felt more like, like I was being watched. So I'd never done this before. I start flashing my brights at every car that drives by. Just a Hail Mary to get someone to follow me in case I need help or a witness. Nothing happens, and then, something moved in the back of the car. I'm on the side of the road so fast, I, I run out of the car, I'm speed walking away from the back of it. I called 911 and told the operator that there was someone in my rental car. And then I heard the back wiper go, foom, foom. <laughs> that was me. Apparently when I was flashing my brights, I suddenly scrolled that little clicky wheel, created Charles Manson, have you ever? or call 911 then found out everything was totally fine. What do you even say at that point? I didn't want to let him know I was an idiot. So I just said, oh, never mind. I got this. 